and we're back to HTML SVG. Let me show you how you can use icons. There are two ways basically. One is to add a predefined design. There are a couple of websites out there that offer them, but be careful, some are paid services, some don't allow you to use it commercially. I'm going to link to this one, which is as far as I can tell, a service that's free and it can also be used commercially. It's called Icon Monster. Check the video description. When you click on Embed, you have to be on Inline. You can see the SVG code. It's usually a path. It's a little bit more complex right here. You can just copy this entire box and then paste it right here. So it delivers the SVG parent with it. So check that right here. Let me refresh it. And here's now this Twitter icon. There's also another way. Let me delete this one. I refresh it so we've got nothing on this page. You can also just download it and then treat it basically like an image. Let me check my folder. So here's our project folder, the IMG, where I store all the images. And here's the Twitter SVG. You can see it under properties. There it says it, it's an SVG file. So if I now want to use this on my website using SVG, I can write the image tag and then place this Twitter SVG as an href. I just named it Twitter as far as I remember and it's in the IMG folder. So IMG slash and you can see it Twitter then dot SVG. I refresh my page and here it is now. It's inside of this SVG canvas that I've created. So we can reposition it like any other object in this canvas. We can use width to increase the size. And that's about it. This is how you can use icons in HTML SVG. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.